Good day, honeybees. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are going to sprout buckwheat, and this is going to last. Um, the sprouting will be over three days because I live in a cold climate. If you don't, it could be two days for sprouting. And buckwheat is a seed and it's alkaline. So I'm getting more into the buckwheat, especially for the holiday season and um, making some cookies and, and whatnot. So we're, I'm gonna show you how I sprout the buckwheat. And I also want to show you guys some herbs that I'm growing as well. I'm gonna get a lot more into growing herbs. And yeah, let's go take a look. So the first herb we have, this is parsley. Um, now, they need quite a bit of sunlight, so I'm going to have to monitor them to see how they do. This one is oregano, and it's doing quite well. And it tastes really, really good. Um, I'm gonna get into growing more. Um, I wanna do dill um, and basil and thyme and and all sorts of things. So we'll see how much, um, we'll see how these ones do to start. I'll keep you guys updated. And let's get into, let's get into the video. So what you'll need is buckwheat, preferably organic if you can. It's no big deal if you can't. And um, what we're gonna do is we're going to just take about a cup. Now depending on what you're making, it's going to a cup, it's gonna give me about once sprouted about a cup and a half. So um, you can always, if you make too much, you can always you know, throw it on your salads or do um, anything you like with it. It's, it's really good, um, really good for you. So once uh, we got a cup here, we're just going to put it in a bowl and then we're going to just take some water um, and just make sure all the, all the buckwheat is covered in water and I like to just give it a nice stir, make sure that they are all covered in the water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this soak for two hours. So after it's been soaking for two hours, we're just going to strain it and then we're going to rinse it off with some water. And this is just gonna get all that kind of film um, off the buckwheat. I'll just make it nice and clean. Then what we're going to do is we're going to just take a tea towel and we're just going to put it over buckwheat and we're going to let this sit for um, overnight and we're going to do a rinse in the morning and a rinse at night and we'll repeat this for three days. So this is after the third day and in the morning and at night, I rinse the buckwheat, and here it is. So it is doing quite well. So we're gonna use this, and I'm gonna make some cookies with that. So I'll show you guys that recipe as well. But yeah, so um, it's looking quite nice. And this is now living, now that it's sprouted, it's now living and really, really good for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, be alkaline, be yourself, and be getting in some herbs today. Cheers.